hey, you all ready for this? Track gang, it happens to be Saturday, December the 26th of 2020, and this is going to be vlog 48, and it'll be the last vlog for 2020, for better or worse. <laughs> um, I've been doing some uh, recording of op sessions uh, down here. Uh, I've got the first, I've got three done so far. I'm going to have a lot. That that. That folder is going to have an awful lot in it, and I'm sorry if I'm shaking the, the, the camera, I'm actually on the pogo stick. Um, but I'm actually over here at the Beauville Yard because I found a couple of interesting things, and I have finally got around to putting together a fix for an issue that I had over here. So let's spin the camera. That was a bit quick. <laughs> All right, let's uh, drop down here because there's a couple other things I want to show. Now, um, <clears throat> I just got finished. Now, I noticed the other night when I was messing around over here that the turntable was still giving me that, 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 that. So I went ahead and I put a, um, uh, what am I looking for? I, I'll call it a wedge up underneath the middle because I put that brace to hold the center of the, the pit. Um, that helped, but then I remembered that I had one other thing that I needed to work on. Because I had put a temporary solution on the back side, and if you notice, hey, there's no wood post anymore. I had a temporary solution sitting back here, and well, this isn't exactly any more permanent, really. Um, but what I found was is there was a definite issue, there was a real sag back here because this piece from here to here is held up by an L girder that's here. There's really nothing holding this piece up. This there, there's no brace really here. There is a leg uh, to the uh, to the right side of the control panel on the other side, but there was really nothing holding this up. So I put this more permanent brace in place. Um, and the reason why it was done with the particle board like this was um, there was really no place to put a bolt. You have to remember that this is the, this is the end of the 15 inch section. And with all the electrical wiring and everything else that's up underneath it here, there was really no place to put bolts. So I came up with this, this idea of putting um, you know, particle board on either side of the 2x4 and using that as a leg and literally bracing it up against the 2x4 that's on the on the 15 inch section. Um, that has definitely helped the sag. Now whether that helps with the issue with the turntable, well we're going to find that out on the op sessions because I still have a couple parts to work on with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and swing her back around the front side of the layout here because we're made back here on the back side. Um, no, I haven't done anything else with the warehouse. 
but I did go through and the other night I actually found some of my old pictures from uh, when I was over at Oakcroft, my old house. And that is a picture of, uh, I believe, the, the locomotive all the way to the left. I think that's a family lines. Uh, and then you've got um, the Atlantic Coast, then the Seaboard, then the Southern, and then the B&O. And I believe that those are mostly either E6s, E7s, or E8s. But anyway, I can go over and get you a better... Uh, I had pulled these years ago. These are cartoons uh, that were done for better or worse. Um, that one there at the end thing, uh, Opa Dodge would like it. says, Grandpa won't share. <laughs> Um, my mom had gotten me the clock years ago. Now, the thing is, is it does have the locomotive or the train it's supposed to go around. Uh, the problem is, is it doesn't do that anymore. i got to take it apart one of these days and figure that out. Um, this one here is another one of the, for better or worse, and the last thing it says is I've got nobody to play with. Well, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good thing for this year, because right now we don't have anybody we can play with. Um, and then that was, uh... Uh, a picture that my wife had gotten me a couple years ago and then of course over here so I'm starting to get some of my railroad memorabilia up on the walls <laughs> it's only been a year you know you can't rush these things <laughs> now that I'm done moving stuff around on the layout for the most part I can start putting I can start putting some of the stuff on the wall <laughs> Um, oh, the other interesting thing was, and I've walked right past it, um, I've got this, and of course when you watch the op sessions you'll see that this isn't exactly perfect. Um, I did put up a, a, a semi-temporary semi uh, shield for the warehouse, the, or not the warehouse, but the Atlantic Copper and Brass. The only issue of it is, is the fact that I should have probably put this piece of board up on the other side as well and I didn't well I hit the tower earlier and knocked the thing over so <laughs> I'm gonna come up with like I said that's a temporary solution I'll have to come up with something a little bit more permanent oops my as I go ahead and throw my arm in front of the camera um the other thing that I kind of worked on the other night and of course I don't have one over here per se. Yes, I do. Um, sorry. Um, Jason, the train, train freak, had mentioned using bamboo skew, skewers uh, for decoupling trains. Wonderful idea. Probably works really good with KDs, uh, but what I ended up having to do, because I'm still using the horn hooks, <laughs> uh, I ended up whittling the end uh, to a point, almost, so that it gets in between the coupler to, de to do the decoupling. It works fairly well. You'll see that in the op sessions once I go ahead and I put them all together. Um, oh, one other thing. I forgot about this. Of course, the lighting is going to stink back here, but we'll, we'll do this. I kind of showed this in the one op session, but I went to um, Home Depot and got that foam rubber that you would usually put underneath of like uh, exercise equipment or uh, any place where you're going to be walking. Um, the other night I had been working back there and had a bit of an oops and that oops was one of the coal cars uh, came out of my hand and hit the floor. Well concrete and plastic don't exactly mix very well Thankfully, it was not one of the more expensive cars. It was one of the old, cheap um, Burlington Northerns that probably came from Bachman or Lifelike. Um, but it was at that point I realized, you know what, if you're going to have the dropsies, you need to have something on this floor other than concrete, because that's not going to work. So, at 50 bucks, I went ahead and put down that stuff. So, that gives a little bit of cushion when you're walking around back there, number one, number two. It'll give, it a, it'll give everything a little bit more of a soft landing if you have, have, happen to drop it for some reason. Trying not to, but it, it happens. It's what happens when you get old. Um, anywho, 
what else has been going on? Really, not much. Um, you know, Christmas was yesterday. Um, my uh, my one package, not the one from uh, Rick Bailey, but the other one that I ordered, my SW9 1200, did show up. Uh, I only opened up the box to take a look at it to make sure it was in one piece, which thankfully it was. Uh, I closed it back up, so I'm going to do an unboxing on Sidetrack Sunday, uh, number four for tw uh, December 2020, which will be on the 27th. Um, I don't know if this vlog is going to come out before or after that, but if it comes out after, go back and take a look. If it comes out beforehand, make sure you watch it tomorrow night. Because uh, <laughs> there's a couple other things that are going to show up on there. Um, it's basically going to be a show and tell type of night. Um, uh, my my in-laws, my, my sister-in-law and her family surprised me with something that I found uh, when I went back and really looked at it the other night. Really, I got to go back and really dig in, but... Um, I'm not going to get in. We'll get, we'll discuss that more tomorrow night. Um, but other than that, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and try and finish off the operations sessions um, for the uh, for the BNN, so that way I can get that folder uploaded. And you all know the deal. You know, one of the things that I haven't done in a while, and you just saw the little intro for it, is my subscribers, my new subscribers. So let's go ahead and do some shout outs to the new subscribers on the channel here. And let's see what we've got. So for the month of December, we've got Mejus County Railroad. That was on the 3rd. On the 6th, we've got Inked Rails. On the 20th, I picked up CSX 3194. Uh, also on the 20th, My Life's Tracks. Uh, also on the 20th, we got Joshua Reinhardt. And on the 21st, we got Murphy 7575. Now, I think some of you folks may have been in the... <laughs> the, holiday, the holiday show marathon that went for 3 hours and 15 minutes. Which was pretty much the roast of that Rick, or the roast of the tree, <laughs> however you want to look at it. Um, that was a good time, though. We we all needed that, I believe. Um, actually, I know we. I, I know me personally. I definitely needed that. Um, also, you know what? I'm going to go back and do November because I'm not sure if I got the folks for November. Uh, we got the Mystic Southern Railroad that signed on on November the 10th. We got Sid tr Sid's trains that showed up on November the 14th. Also on November the 14th, we got BNSF Milepost 18. Well, I'm sorry, 108.5. And on November the 15th, we got Corey's AKVR. Um, so some of these channels are fairly low, have low subscriptions. I'm going to go ahead and post some links. In the description below so you all can go and check them out um, but um, you know we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on from there oh um, one other thing I forgot to mention this as of today 12 26 2020 I started a patreon page I'm still messing with it bear with me um, Things may change. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm actually going to, how it's going to get used yet or anything like that. Um, however, you know, if you're really interested in doing something other than the PayPal or the Teespring, if you want to do it that way, that's fine. Um, I know I'm not monetized, and that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it. I want to... Um, I want, I'm, I'm obviously constantly giving back, and I, I want to keep doing that. Um, and I want to have giveaways and things of that nature. And uh, I think one of the things that, that leads to that is going ahead and having the Patreon page until you really get up to being monetized, and then it becomes a different ball of wax. Um, so, anywho, we're going to go ahead and get into a couple of, or we're just going to go ahead and the, the, the outro is coming, so um, I think. Actually, you know what? You all know the deal. Wait for the eyeball. Green tracks ahead. We'll catch you all next time. Be safe. God bless. See ya.